Hi, welcome back to Ask the Expert. We have another question here, this time from Denise in Turkey. Denise wants to know, is there a way to reduce burning on stainless steel? Okay, so uh, as some of us or all of us should know, is uh, stainless steel is a bit more uh, sensitive to heat than uh, other steels, such as carbon steel. If you uh, dwell too long in, in one area of uh, on stainless steel or use the, the wrong product, you will end up with an effect, what we call burn or bluing. You can see your representation of that from uh, from where this steel was welded before. You can see the, the brown burn marks and also, like I say, the bluing. Uh, and again, this is because stainless steel is more sensitive to reacting to heat and uh, having a problem such as that. And obviously with stainless steel, we don't want that to appear on the surface because it's normally a cosmetic finish that you want on here. So we want to avoid burning on stainless steel if, if possible. Now, how we actually achieve that, um, first of all, is product selection. So say if we want to remove the weld that you see on here, okay, for that we may use uh, something like a fiber disc. We have two options here as a fiber disc. Um, both have the same ceramic grain on here, but as you see, one's quite shiny surface. You can see the phenolic uh, resin glue on there. And this other one here is more sort of matte finish. That's because on the surface of this product, we have what we call supersize uh, layer on there. So it's an extra layer we put over the top of our fiber discs uh, to cool down uh, the grind zone. So it kind, of, uh, it kind of evaporates as you grind and takes away a lot of the heat out of, uh, out of the grind to try and avoid bluing as, as much as possible. Also the fact that these are ceramic products and they will actually remove the weld quicker so you spend less time dwelling in, uh, in the same area. Again, reducing the risk of localized burn. Now when you move on to the finishing stages, again, it's good to choose high performance products such as the Norton Vortex uh, to blend away the scratches from the fiber disc. Um, the reason is it'll get it done quicker so you don't you spend as much time blending in that one area. Uh, and another really important tip is the tool. When you start to finish, uh, we want to be looking at a variable speed tool like this. Okay, so we have a dial on the back here where we can actually reduce the rotational speed of, uh, of the finishing disc to around about 6,000, 7,000 RPM. And again, reducing the amount of friction and heat that we're, we're producing in the grind and therefore uh, avoiding burn. Okay, I think uh, that should answer all your questions, uh, Denise. If you have any other comments or questions, please pop them down below the video and we'll see if we can get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Cheers.